Hello everyone and thank you so much for coming. My name is Meredith Gurton and we also have on the line Susan Baker, a holistic nutritionist, and we are here to connect with you on the topic of health and nutrition. Specifically relevant to the cold and flu season, we're going to talk about building immu health, immunity health. That's a big word. So um, you've been invited because you're someone that I care about and also someone that I wanted to update on what I'm doing. So at the end, we're gonna share uh, a little bit about our story and why this topic is important to us, how it has affected us and our families by eating healthy food and nutrition and how that has helped us to build a healthier immune system. So I'm going to just pull up some slides here. Here we go, we're gonna share screen. There we go. So you should see there a slide about building a healthy immune system. There are five things um, spe um, specifically that we can do to really impact our immune health. The first thing is eating good quality foods. So that means you know eating quality foods that are natural um, throughout the day. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks. The other second thing is, and probably not a big surprise, drinking water. Uh, that would include herbal teas, but certainly does not count things like juice and definitely not coffee. Um, a third way that you can really improve your health, uh, immunity health, is through moving your body. So by moving our body, that helps to circulate our lymphatic, which is the immune system, and that's through muscle movement. And that is why it's so important for us to be moving our bodies every day and for our kids to be moving. The next way that um, is extremely important that we often take for granted is sleep. Now I've put on the slide there, um, I recommend reading Greg Wells' Ripple Effect. It's a phenomenal book and in there, um, he recommends the, this amount of sleep. So toddlers, age one to three, they need 12 to 14 hours sleep, which is sometimes very hard to get your kids down for that amount of time, but that doesn't include naps. Um, children age three to five, need 11 to 13 hours. Teenagers need nine to 10 hours. I think I skipped kids five to 10, that's 10 to 11 hours. And adults, we need seven to, 10 hour, seven to eight hours of sleep. And for some of us, that's really, really hard. Um, the other thing that is recommended in, um, and you've probably heard this before, is limiting screen time and bright lights for at least an hour before bedtime. Um, you know, that is, this is becoming less and less uh, easy for many of us who have our phones right next to us. So if that's something that you can practice, you may see it um, having a real positive impact on your sleep. Uh, and the fifth way is that to contribute to a healthy immune system is through supplements. And that's something that we're going to talk about a little later. So we talked about what things that are good for us. Let's talk about what we need to avoid. So this shouldn't be a surprise. The number one culprit is sugar. Sugar in, um, is most often and mainly found in processed foods. Things like flour, um, and you know, things that are cooked with white flour, donuts, cookies, sweets. So what this processed food does, it sends a blast of sugar right into our bloodstream. And then soon after our blood sugar drops, and we're craving carbohydrates. And that's why you see um, you know, this moodiness with kids, these up and down um, you know, behavioral um, mood swings. Um, and because they're, they're craving sugar or carbohydrates and they need that, fi that fix. Um, and this happens, as I'm sure many of you, this happens to as adults as well. Um, I have to carry something with me um, and I've noticed less and less as I've been eating, um, I know uh, healthily and cleanly, 
I noticed this less and less, but I used to always have something like emergency snack in my purse. Um, so, you know, you might find that happens to you as well. Um, the other thing more often that happens is our immune system is paralyzed from sugar. Um, literally, our immune system stops functioning, our cells halt um, for sometimes up to five hours after consumption. And um, so when your child is sick or when you're sick, it's best to avoid sugar as much as possible. Um, get that good nutrition in and keep that um, bad nutrition out. Um, so that's why you're, you see a lot of cold and flu uh, flus after Halloween. Artificial colors are, have um, potential side effects, in allergies, um, as well as um, you know, behavioral issues as well. And the other thing that you know, I would just say is, if you're trying to build a healthy immune system, really best to limit your sugar intake as much as possible. So I'm now gonna turn it over to Susan, who's gonna talk more about what our bodies do need. Susan. Great, thank you. If you can, yeah, click the slide. Um, so what we know is that nutrition can do so much for our overall health and specifically for our immune system. And what you see here is first and foremost, good quality whole natural foods. Um, we wanna to stick to that as much as possible specifically fruits and vegetables, because we know they're so high in vitamins and minerals, but also a class of nutrients called phytonutrients. And I'll get into this a little bit more. Um, phytonutrients really support the immune system. Garlic, ginger, and onions have been scientifically proven to actually support the immune system and strengthen it. So cook with those as much as possible, as often as you can. Similarly with spices, um, specific spices that are great for the immune system are cinnamon, turmeric, and ginger. So again, incorporate those into the foods that you are cooking. There's another category of foods called fermented foods. And these are things like sauerkraut, um, kimchi, and um, kombucha. We have had these foods in our traditional diets all across the globe for hundreds of years. They've just become really trendy in North America. And the reason that we include them in immune system support is because they are a source of excellent probiotics. And probiotics are what help build the gut, and the gut is the root of the immune system. It's the base of the immune system. Over 75% of our immune system is found in the gut. And so those are the overall categories we wanna really include to build a healthy immune system. This is a beautiful visual of those phytonutrients I was talking about. We call it eating the rainbow. Um, we wanna try to get as much variety in our day in these colors as possible because in the variety of color is where we get the variety of nutrition. I love this image. You can see here it's a comparison between 1900 and now. So in the last 100 years, even though plants may look the same, they're growing in fewer uh, minerals in the soil. And part of that is because of how our food is produced, grown, produced, and processed today. Um, very different than 100 years ago. And I'm often asked as a nutrition practitioner, why do we have to get you know, 10 plus servings of vegetables and fruit every day, and children are supposed to get five plus servings? I mean, that's huge. Canada's Food Guide just came out. Um, this is now the year 2019, and they're finally declaring that half our plate should be devoted to fruits and vegetables and variety. And part of the reason is because um, over the decades of mass agriculture and mass production, we haven't replenished our soil with nutrients. And so they're grown without as much richness. And so it becomes really important to make sure we eat an appropriate quantity and variety in our day. Um, the other uh, problem is that our, our uh, food is picked unripe. Typically in Canada, we access grocery store foods that are unripe, like a hard avocado and an unripe banana that have traveled miles to get to us. Um, here's a comparison of 50 years. So in 1953, there's one bowl of spinach. 50 years later, you've got to eat 43 bowls of spinach in order to get the equivalent amount of nutrition. That's a lot. 
And so that's really why we look at immune building supplements because we're in an era of food where it's really difficult to get all the quality nutrition that we need. And so we look at supplementation. I see it as foundational. And there are four categories listed here that are non-negotiable. The first is vitamin D3 drops, really easy to take. I'm not gonna get into individual dosing. You can speak to a health practitioner about that. But people of all ages should be supplementing with vitamin D3 drops. Right under the tongue, easy to do. In Canada, there are only three months of the year where our body will actually produce vitamin D from the sun. Otherwise, we run deficiencies, and deficiencies in vitamin D are associated with poor health. The second supplement to be uh, taking is probiotics. Probiotics are those good bacteria for your gut, which supports the immune system. So either taking it in supplement form, which is usually more concentrated, or having those fermented foods on a regular basis, like I mentioned in the previous slide. The third supplement to consider is what we call a whole food fruit and vegetable concentrate. So more and more natural health practitioners are moving away from a multivitamin and recommending a whole food concentrate. Because what we know is that uh, the nutrients from whole foods work synergistically in the body. And I'll explain a little bit more about that, this in a couple minutes. Um, this is where we get the best nutrition and the best absorption of those nutrients to work for overall health. The fourth category are your omega fatty acids, essential fats, um, and taking those in supplement form is important. This next image says it all. So there's an apple, and to the right is a chart of hundreds and hundreds of phytonutrients, so plant nutrients that exist in this apple that work synergistically together along with vitamins and minerals um, to really provide optimal nutrition to the body versus a short list of about 20 different vitamins and minerals that you would find in a multivitamin. And this says it all. Why wouldn't we wanna get the thousands of nutrients available to us in whole food form from our fruits and vegetables versus the 20 or so that we find in a multivitamin. And that's where the nutritional support comes in. So I'm gonna turn it over to Meredith to talk about and share um, an option that exists for you. Okay, so on the screen, you're going to see um, a product called Juice Plus, which is something that I've had my family on, my daughter and myself on for the last two years and has been uh, a real game changer. So we know we have to flood our body with fruits and vegetables. It's recommended nine to 13 servings and, and five per day for children. But most of us have so much trouble getting this in our body, even the best eaters. So this is where something like this product would come in and really help you bridge that nutritional gap. Um, and I'll explain how, you know, my reasoning and how I got my family on um, Juice Plus. Um, in a little bit, but first I want to tell you a little bit more about the product. So as you can see on the screen, you, there's 30 different um, fruits and vegetables, and Juice Plus is actually all vine-ripened whole foods. It's non-GMO and it's NSF certified, which means um, it contains the pure quality ingredients that it says on the label, and it's actually been tested six times before um, it gets to your, your table. Um, and that's to ensure it's free of herbicides, pesticides, mold, and ye yeast, and any other banned substances. So to me, I think that's you know, phenomenal. Um, and this is why there's thousands of athletes and three Olympic teams who stand by this product and take this product. Um, and what, um, we talk about nutritional peak, and I think what we, when we said vine ripened, what that means is the fruit and veggies that you see here, they are kept on the tree um, and till their peak nutrition. And that is, Susan mentioned prior, that you can, you know, see, the, get these bananas, these green bananas or hard rock avocado. That's what we get in our gr grocery store um, because they have been picked prior to being fully um, ripen, so they don't contain all those phenomenal phytonutrients, or, or they contain some, but not to the same level um, when it has been ripened to its peak. 
And, and that's because it needs to sit on the truck and then sit in the grocery store and then come to your counter and, and sit there to be right. Um, and so we avoid all that um, with this wonderful product and it's filled with so much more high quality nutrients. Um, the fruit and veggies are then crushed um, whole and they include, the, that means they include the seeds, the core, the peel. And the reason for that is because, um, you know, separate from uh, being able to eat the peel, that's not something that we do, but an orange actually can, 80% of an orange, um, the, the nutritional value is actually in the peel. So, you know, we're not going to eat the peel, but we can get that nutrients when the whole fruit and veg is um, crushed. And you don't get that when you're juicing. You, when you're juicing, you just get that, you know, the insides. Um, the other thing is they're preserved. Um, the, the life nutrients are preserved by slowly um, uh, drying it at low temperatures. So that's how you can get all these 30 uh, or at least 10 per, um, veggies or fruit per in this tiny little capsule because obviously when you dry things, they shrink. And if you've ever tried to make kale chips or beet chips or dry things, you'll notice they get really small. So here's a slide of what it actually looks like. Um, those are the fruit, veggie, and berry capsules. Um, the other thing that I think is awesome is how um, well researched this product is. And, um, and that was a real, um, that was really important for me when looking at this product. Um, there's over 38 um, published studies and there's always more um, being done. And um, those are in peer reviewed medical journals. And, and they show that these, um, this is safe for all, with people of all ages. And that includes pregnant women, children, and, and the elderly. Um, so along with these capsules, we have some other really cool products. Um, the omega-3 is, um, and that's not in that picture there, but the omega-3 um, is a new product and it contains omega, and I, sh I say omega-3, it's not just omega-3, it's a vegan omega. It contains omega-3, 5, 7, and 9. Um, you know, that doesn't really mean much to me and it may not to you, but to um, nutritionists, I'm sure it's like a game changer because this product, when I say it's vegan, it doesn't have that fish taste they skip the fish altogether, they go straight to the algae. And um, you know, it's really just cutting out the, the fish and going straight to the plant. So um, you know, people are loving it and they're even using it and putting it on their face for cream. Uh, the, there's also a chocolate and um, vanilla protein product, which also vegan, tastes phenomenal. And it's um, something that we, I've started taking as part of the Shred 10, which I'll tell you about in a, in a little bit. Um, but it's something that you can use for snacks or breakfast. And it's hands down, I think, the best product on the market um, because it doesn't have that gritty taste. Um, so I mentioned the juice, um, the shred. So I want to tell you about the shred. You've, you may have seen me posting in social media about the shred. I've done it about four times a year in the last couple of years. And um, I recently was one of the coaches on it. So since I joined the business, I... Um, became a leader of the 2019 kickoff shred um, and what that means and what shred 10 it's not about losing 10 pounds it's about 10 days of really focusing on eliminating the things that slow our bodies down things like sugar alcohol gluten dairy um, it's about giving our body the good things that we need and that includes veggies and fruit so more veggies and fruit um, including Juice Plus in that, as well, the smoothies, um, and really that high quality protein um, that, can, that should come from a plant, as we talked about the Canadian um, Nutritional Food Guidelines have just come out, and they really stress plant protein as opposed to getting your protein from meat and dairy. Um, so we also focus on things like exercise, um, which is important to me, and exercising daily, increasing your water intake, and um, sleeping, which we talked about before. Um, so to be in, um, part of this program, um, you're part of, and, and this is program is available to Juice Plus customers, 
um, you become part of an online community, which is really supportive, encouraging, um, and it's a lot of fun. There's recipes and meal ideas and a guidebook. Um, so why am I telling you all this? So there's my family, um, and in the top you'll see my daughter Molly, um, in the top right hand corner. Um, and that's, this picture of Molly is from a recent um, trip to Jamaica. Um, but, uh, you know, this is my success story. It has, it, a, a few years ago, this is the reason that, how I found it, out about Juice Plus. A few years ago, Molly was getting sick every time we traveled. Um, we were in the hospital in the Dominican Republic. She had a high fever and um, an ear infection. It was really scary. Um, as a parent, there's nothing worse than going to a hospital in a foreign country. Um, the medication that we were given was, you know, something you would have seen in the 80s here in Canada. This powdered antibiotic um, that I was supposed to be feeding her into ice cream quite unsuccessfully. It was not working at all. Um, and this kept, ha this kept happening. Um, we were on three separate holidays. We, Molly was sick. And it was, you know, just really stressful. It was not fun, like holidays are supposed to be. Um, I, was, I was really worried. Like, how are we supposed to go on holidays if my kid keeps getting sick? How are we um, supposed to be enjoying this time that is so um, valuable to us and so important? So I started researching, you know, what can I do to build my child's immune system? Um, because although she was relatively healthy at home, you know, like a normal kid. Every time we traveled, um, she was getting sick, which meant to me she doesn't have an immune system that is strong to, to fight off um, stresses in her body. Um, so I heard about Juice Plus from Susan. Thank you, Susan. Um, Susan, I did not know Susan at the time. She was speaking at an event in our local community at a mom's group. And she talked about, you know, eating more fruits and vegetables. Um, this is Susan's raison d'etre. Um, and I was like, oh, you know, my, my child eats, like, is not a great eater. And, and you know, could that be contributing? Um, I also heard that um, you can actually, with the sponsoring adults, get a child on the product for free. So for me, I'm like, okay, that sounds awesome. Let's try it. Fast forward two years. Um, Molly and I have been taking our juice plus. She's been taking the chews. I've been taking the capsules. She is just a healthier, happy, ch happier child. Um, we've had phenomenal adventures like that one there. Um, she doesn't get sick like she used to. And, you know, she gets the odd cold, but she's fighting it so much faster. Like she's not, her colds don't linger as long as they used to. Um, so I really do attribute this to the juice plus product. You know, she's still a relatively picky eater. She might, she tries things a little bit more, um, but I'm not, myself as a parent, I'm so much more relaxed at mealtime because I know she's getting the nutrients from the Juice Plus Chews. She's getting those fighting nutrients, those cancer um, fighting antioxidants. And, you know, it's, it's really, um, you know, made me a more relaxed parent as well. Um, you know, I went on this because of Molly. I didn't think this was something I needed. I'm, I work out. I eat so much um, salad. Um, it's my favorite food in the world. And, um, you know, I didn't get especially sick. So, I, you know, I really just went on this because I was getting Molly on for free. Um, but you know what? Looking back, I, I didn't realize a couple of things. I was napping. A lot more. I was tired. I was, you know, much of the time. Um, I did work out, but not like I work out now. Like just not with that same energy and vigor. I was really just showing up and going through the motions. So, um, you know, the other thing that I mentioned, I've been doing the the shred for, um, you know, a couple of years. That also has contributed to my overall better eating habits and. Um, I don't really crave sugar like I used to because I've mostly cut it out of my diet. And it just, I just feel so much better. Um, we're just a healthier family. Uh, so my next goal is to get my husband on it. And I've already 
or it's a joke in our family that he's going to be like the before and after, um, <laughs> the before and after study, and he's going to be the poster child for it. So I mentioned about the Healthy Starts program. Um, you know, this is something that, um, you know, for me really made a big difference, being able to um, get my child on for free. Um, you know, it's worth about $40 a month, and I think that's, you know, significant savings. Um, so you can see some of the positive results there. Fewer missed days of school, eating more veggies, less doctor visits, um, and, you know, 96% of kids reap the benefits in some way or another. Uh, so I'm going to pass it back over to Susan, who is going to tell her story. Awesome. Okay, so there I am with my kids uh, five years ago. Um, and that's actually when I first brought Juice Plus into our family's life. The truth is, I'd actually known about it for a really long time before that. But with a nutrition background, I was like, no, I'm good. I don't need anything like that. I eat really healthy. You know, we try to eat organic and eat lots of fruits and veg. Um, and then I became a mom and I looked at my kids at that stage and my son was five years old at the time. And although he was a good eater, he's a child on the autism spectrum. And so his body is under sensory stress all the time and that depletes nutrients. Um, my daughter liked one fruit and one veg. And I was looking at both of them thinking, you guys need more. You need more nutrition. You don't need a multivitamin. And that's when I just decided to give Juice Plus a shot. It made sense to me. How could I get all this rainbow variety into these kids um, on a daily basis? And so I got our whole family on it. As Meredith mentioned, getting both kids free was a huge saving. So my husband and I both started taking the capsules. Um, our kids that winter we started it, had their best winter to date up to that point. They got sick far, far less, and if they did get sick, they got over it sooner, and it wasn't as intense. Um, what I didn't realize was how much I needed it. So there we are, years later, and all healthy and glowing, um, in Mexico, mind you, but I realized after about six to eight weeks of myself taking the capsules, I woke up one morning and I was like, I just feel more resilient, because here's the truth. Raising a child with special needs, especially in the younger years, is really stressful. I found that with a new baby and a child on the spectrum, I was quick to, to snap. I was crying easily. I didn't sleep that well. I wasn't a great partner, and I just didn't feel like myself. And it was after about six to eight weeks of that deep nutrition from the Juice Plus capsules where I just felt better. I got a piece of myself back. I wasn't crying as easily. I wasn't as overwhelmed. And you give somebody a piece of themselves back, it's a game changer. And we haven't looked back. Our family's been taking it for five years, and it really is a big part of why I continue to recommend it for so many families. Not only our family, but the number one result I hear from anybody I recommend Juice Plus to is that it helps their kid's immune system. They're sick far less, and if they do get sick, they get over it sooner. Um, I've also had a number of cases of kids with skin conditions like eczema or acne or psoriasis significantly improve, and that's really because of that concentrated nutrition. So that's our story, and we're not looking back. Okay. So I want to tell you a little bit more about the Freedom Resolution, Revolution and the Juice Plus Company. So... Susan and I, along with thousands of others, are part of a community that is really taking back our health in simple, um, easy, doable, fun ways. And that is really the goal of the Freedom Revolution, is to come alongside people um, and meet them where they're at and try and empower them to make positive changes along the way in their health uh, journeys. Um, the major, or the major, the majority of people who take Juice Plus um, about 80% are customers, but there is 20% um, who are representatives, and that would include myself and Susan. And we are compensated for sharing our story um, about healthy living and, and Juice Plus. And the reason that I you know, signed on to this is, and, and joined this organization is because it really checked all the boxes for me. So, Health and nutrition is something that I'm really passionate about. It aligned with what I was looking for and my values. Um, you know, I was really looking for some way that I could make a difference and impact other people's lives. And it took me um, 
you know, a few years. I knew about this product for two years. Um, I was really, if you know me, I've been looking, you know, what a, you know, I've been searching, soul searching for a couple of years. Um, and then it was like an aha moment. Like this mm -hmm. is um, something that I can really sink my teeth in and get excited about. It's about, you know, it meets my um, passion about health and fitness. Um, but also it, it aligns with me wanting to be my own boss, working um, on my time when I want, giving me that flexibility to be involved with my child at school. Um, and the other thing is learn, um, learning professionally and personally. There's so much person, um, personal growth that um, are part of this uh, journey for me. So um, it is an international company and, you know, it's um, growing and to be a part of this journey has been really, really exciting. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, I'm, I'm happy to talk to you and I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, the other thing that you should know, um, you know, we do appreciate your time and, and watching this video. We want to let you know there's some free resources available um, for families. So there's a cookbook of clean and easy recipes. Um, you can see that there. Um, there's short web webinars that are trending on many different topics. Um, uh, and that's at the healthyrevolution.com um, site, um, or just let me know and I'd be happy to send you the information. Um, there's a home fitness series, which is awesome. Like if it's freezing cold, like right now, and you don't want to go outside, um, you can just log on there. So let me know if um, you're interested. My contact information is there, um, and I'm happy to share any of these resources. So I want to thank you so much um, for attending and um, you know I really do hope that you came away with a few um, things that you can do in your life um, whether that's cutting down on sugar drinking more water um, moving your body more um, or you know taking it um, taking advantage of some of the free resources or making life easier by adding juice plus into your daily regime um, so Juice Plus, just um, to reiterate, it, it's, it, um, it's free for kids. For adults, it's really a few dollars a day. It's a cup of coffee. Um, and for, for me and for those who take it, they'll tell you it's the simplest, easiest way to get massive amounts of nutrition into your body um, and to get into busy people's lives who don't have the time. And those who do still need um, to bridge that gap. And so this, these are things that we can do to keep our immune system strong. Um, maybe you know someone who wants to join us on the mission. If you do, um, please um, send them to me or send them this video, share this video with them. Uh, it really just takes um, a simple system with, within a positive, fun community with, um, who align with the mantra of inspiring others through healthy living. So thank you again. Um, and thank you, Susan, so much for sharing the information tonight with uh, those on the, on the line. You're welcome. Okay, all set, thanks.